Speed is everything, and with the Speed Grader from HQ, this does the work for you. Because we all know cooking doesn't take time in the kitchen, it's the prep that takes all the time. And if all we have is a bunch of dull knives in our kitchen drawer, it takes a ton of time. We hate going in the kitchen, but now with the HQ Speed Grader, every turn of this handle, you get four slices. So it, no matter what drum you have, now I've got this, the uh, slicing drum in here now. Sliced carrots, cucumbers, I'm doing some, right now, yeah, some celery sliced perfect for salads or for a soup or a stew. You can even do smaller things. I take a radish or maybe a handful of radishes and drop them into the top of the machine. What I love about this is this little pusher that comes with it. It feeds the vegetable or fruit through the machine so you ne your fingers never get close to these blades. But look at this, we just filled an entire bowl full of sliced vegetables ready for a salad super stew in literally less than 30 seconds. Now the three inserts are three blades that come with it. There's your slicing drum, which I have right here. This is the one that I sliced up all these vegetables. We all, it also comes with our coarse grating drum and we also include our thin or fine grating drum. Now, no matter which one that you choose, you just slide it into the machine, lock the handle on the back, and then take whatever it is that you wanna slice, grate, or, or, uh, or mince, or chop, put it in the top of the machine. I'm gonna do a bunch of garlic right now. We can do this right into a frying pan so your fingers never get uh, sticky or stinky. All you do is turn the handle, and look at that. We've got sliced garlic right into the frying pan for sauteing. I mean, it's done safe, fast, easy, and what I love about this the most is you'll never bust another nail or knuckle again on one of these things. Because <laughs> we've all slipped on one of these old four-sided tin can knuckle busters, right, Carrie? Uh, I mean, yeah, <laughs> oh my gosh, we have all of the colors. Oh yeah, <laughs> Usually I know. we just have the red one out here. <laughs> well, I've said this uh, several times since Black Friday. I have held off on getting this until Black Friday, A, because of all the prep work that I had to do on Thanksgiving, right? and B, because I didn't want to pay for shipping. Black Friday, they took the shipping away, and we're still doing that same offer. Offer, so I hope you get this today. John, I'm sure you mentioned everybody gets the three drums. You yes. get the small, the large, and the slicer. You choose, do you want the blue? Are you doing gray in your kitchen? Do you do red in your kitchen? Um, or the or, black. Or the black, yep. which is right here. Under $5 on your charge card. We have sold about 60,000 of these this holiday <laughs> I know, it's season. Crazy. Why? Because look how easy and fast that is. You're not breaking a sweat. <laughs> I know. It's now, not I'm, dancing all over the counter. I'm grating carrots, okay, for the top of a salad or for stir fries. And again, the, the drums are all stainless steel, so they're all dishwasher safe. I'll show you real quick. On the back of the handle here, there's a little button. And with this little button, you'll push this in to release it from the handle, okay? So that when you lock it on, inside the machine, what you're doing is turning that drum, which does all the work for you. But all of the sharp edges are covered up, so you never have to worry about busting a nail or knuckle. So now you can grate potatoes for potato pancakes or hash browns, sharp cheddar cheese, Parmesan cheese. You can grate carrots, coconut, chocolate, zucchini mm. for zucchini bread or zucchini muffins. And you'll never bust a nail or knuckle again because every, th every sharp edge is covered up inside the machine. But look at the job this does. I mean, it does it quick, safe, fast, and easy. Now, I gotta show you how the machine goes together. Mm and how easy this is to clean. Because let's face it, if a kitchen tool is hard to clean, we never use it, right? Absolutely. That's why that $400 food processor is up on the top shelf in the garage. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Look, right here is that little button I told you about. You push that button, that comes off, the drum comes out. On the front of the machine, there's a little tab right here. You push that tab down and the whole top comes right off. Now this part and this part are the only things you really have to clean. Well, you might have to clean the pusher, okay? Because mm -hmm. sometimes that gets food on it. But they're all dishwasher safe. Or you can just rinse it off like a knife. Now what you do to put it back together, you just slide the top back on, it locks into place. You pick whatever drum that, is, that it is that you wanna use. I'm gonna use the coarse grating drum right now. And then I'm gonna snap the handle on the back of the drum. And you'll hear it click. That means it's intact. And then all you do is turn that handle and everything comes out of the front of the machine. Now, there's a little white lever right here on the side. If you have a smooth countertop or tabletop in your kitchen, set it down, push that handle forward, and look, it locks down solid 
so it's not gonna move while you're using it. So now, on taco night, you can take an entire block of cheese and great, great cheese for tacos, enchiladas, burritos, tostadas, and never have fast. to worry about busting your nails or knuckles on that old four-sided tin can box thing that you've been using. Or, John, <laughs> we could buy it pre-graded in a bag yeah, and pay more for that and get added ingredients because well, they if, put gunk in there, Have you right? ever noticed when you open up that bag cheese uh, that you buy in the store that the cheese is, almost has like a white the stuff white, on it? powdery That's weird That's oxidation stuff. of your cheese. It ruins the flavor. Mm. This is coming fresh off the block. Now, I got to tell you, you're going to love this for all kinds of different foods. I mean, so good, it, for the, the cooking alone, look, look, look. I'm going to take this out. I'm going to clean this out a little bit because I don't want cheese in my egg salad. So I'm going to take this out of here. I'm going to put this in here. I'm, for hard-boiled eggs, you can put one or two large eggs in the top. If mm -hmm. you have smaller eggs, three or four fit in. And all you do is turn that handle. You're making egg salad. Great eggs for egg salad, tuna fish, chicken salad, for homemade southern style potato salad. And instead of using a knife or and trying to cut them or using a fork and mashing your eggs, now you're getting perfectly grated eggs. Yeah. And you can even put a pickle through the top, great pickle in there, and then mix up a little mayonnaise right there in the bowl. You've got your egg salad all ready to go. In seconds. <laughs> I mean, it's that quick and easy. I've just never seen something that is so easy to use. John mentioned it suction cups down to the counter. And then he's just turning that crank so right. easily. And it's doing the work for you. The colors, again, are available for you. That's the gray. We have the red. We have the blue. And we have the black. The best $5 that you can spend. <laughs> I mean, it'll pay for itself because you're not buying the cheese and the potatoes for hash browns and things like that that have already been graded and paying extra for that. I can't tell you how important it is that this is on free shipping and handling still. And you have that extended holiday return, so the end of January. This if you is, use this this holiday season and you don't love it, that. please send it back for a refund. Hard so that was Parmesan, Parmesan cheese. Right. You can do Romano, Parmesan. I put the fine grating drum in because I like my my cheese, my uh, Italian cheese is really fine like this. Yeah. And it comes out like snow. You can lock this mm. down on your tabletop or countertop next time you're having an Italian dinner. Yeah. Or maybe it's just for topping a salad. Maybe you're having salad for dinner and you want some freshly grated parm yeah. right on top of your salad. Look at that, an entire block of Parmesan cheese in less than 20 seconds, Gra ground perfectly, or grated perfectly. Now, Are we almost to this. the desserts? Are we getting to you the know, desserts? <laughs> you want to get to he the desserts? the desserts last, and it kills me every time, but I think this is one of well, the here, cool, this is why I got it for I the desserts. I like the breadcrumbs, okay? The way you can Good do breadcrumbs, like uh, you can take a whole handful of saltine crackers, put it in the top of the machine. You can make your own breadcrumbs yeah. for a chicken, fish, or meatloaf. In fact, we do a lot of baking over the holidays. How about some graham crackers for graham cracker crust? We'll put it in the top of the machine like this. And look at this. You can make your own graham cracker crust. Oreo cookie crust. Mm. You can do all kinds of things with this machine. It just saves you so much time and headache in the kitchen. Yeah. And again, cooking doesn't take time. It's the preparation that takes the time in the kitchen. Here, take a handful of Cheez-Its. Or at home, it, we do this for chicken dinner. Okay, make our own breading out of cheeses for, for uh, breading a chicken. And yum. Or, <laughs> or, and yum. Or, yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Or even Doritos. Doritos work great Ooh, in here, too. Ooh, do that. So Will you bring that you next time? Yeah, I'll do it. Just <laughs> I mean, the it does smell just of Doritos everything. being ground in front of me sounds here, nice. I got to tell you, let me change this out because I'm, you mentioned desserts. Yes. And I'll tell you, for ice cream toppings, Watch for this. cakes, for pies, here, I'll put a big bowl up here because we're going to have some fun. Okay. I'll get a clean uh, coarse grating drum put it in the machine, snap the handle on, okay. and look at this. Here's some Oreo cookies for an ice cream topping. Yep. Or maybe you want to make an Oreo cookie crust. Look at that! For pie toppings oh. or cake toppings. I mean, you can have so much fun with this machine. Here, take a handful of peanuts. You can do almonds, walnuts, cashews. Uh, here, and you know what? Here, let's mix it up a little bit. I'll put a handful of M&Ms in there with the peanuts. Oh and look for, God. hey, for a Sunday topping that cannot be beat. Look at this. I mean, all you do is turn the handle, and it comes out. The kids can make their own ice cream toppings Yeah, everyone this can way. have their own yeah. toppings. Hey, throw a chunk of chocolate in there for a latte. Or maybe you want to top a, a cake or a pie with some grated chocolate. You can do coconut in here. Take chunks of coconut and add that to the machine. I'll tell you what, it does more work than those electric food processing machines, and it's 10 times easier to set up and clean. I mean, here, look at this. We've got some ice cream ready to go here. We can top that ice cream with chocolate and M&Ms and peanuts 
donuts. And it, I mean, yeah. how much better does it get? The kids can make their own ice cream toppings. With whatever they love, whether That's it's right. cookies or candies, or the alternative is going and paying $5 oh. for an ice cream so that you can have their pre-graded Watch the toppings. difference here, okay? I'm gonna take that same chunk of chocolate, put it yeah. in the top. Okay. I changed it out from the grating drum to the slicing drum, no. because with the slicing Look drum, you can actually do your shaved chocolate for topping cakes or pies. I mean, there was a whole chunk that I just ran through there. And look at this, here's a store-bought pie. You can grab a handful of that, sprinkle it over the top, and that plain Jane uh, uh, store-bought pie turns into a the delight. Pie, the a, pie a that you lie and say that you I mean, made. look at that. Because you did make it. You <laughs> yeah, made that. Yeah, you made that yourself. <laughs> <laughs> You're not, maybe not the whole thing, but who's, you know, getting specific you know what about goes, that? Uh, you know what else goes good with ice cream? What? Pretzels. Yes, it and does. And I'll tell you what, you and take caramel. a handful of pretzel rods. Or yum, if you, yum, if yum. You, how about this? How about taking pretzel rods and making breading out of pretzel rods? Or how about a, 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 a pie crust out of pretzel All rods? All of it. Pretzel rods. I mean, All of it. It does more work <laughs> John, you can and imagine. it's so easy. If you get suction cups down, you turn so easily to grade whatever you That's want it. to, whether it's potatoes or M&Ms, uh, and then you throw it in the dishwasher when you are done. You're good to go. Enjoy the free shipping and handling. Please grab a couple of these for gifts. We'll send them directly to the re your recipient.